Lift. Pretty easy lift for both men. As you said before, it feels like 975 pounds, and now it comes down to concentration. Taking your mind somewhere else, thinking about somewhere you'd rather be than seconds. strapped to the back of a car. And you know what's great about this event is you are facing your competitor. Although you are battling the clock, that's going to be a great incentive, Bob, to watch the other guy and know just to go a second longer. And that's if you're feeling good. If you're not feeling good, it's probably one to keep your eyes closed. 39 seconds is the time to beat, put up by Denmark's Renee Minkfitz. Look at Glenn Ross from Northern Ireland. Very calm. Torfi Olipson trying to go to the happy place. Come on, Come on, Come on, 45 seconds. Well, Glenn Ross quite a bit shorter than Torfi Olipson as Torfi sets down. Is that an advantage for Glenn? I think it's a little bit of an advantage for Glenn when he stands up. He doesn't have as far to lift it. Glenn Ross just locking seconds. in. Once it's off the ground, uh, it's the same for both. Well, he has well surpassed 39 seconds. How far can Glenn Ross go? He has already drawn blood, and he's drawn the best time to beat. And he locks out at 114.8. So Glenn Ross, 74 seconds. That will be the new time to beat. A great performance by Glenn. Well, earlier we looked at Torfi Olofsson and Glenn Ross. Mark Dez, are you ready? And uh, Roger, uh, you ready? a bit of a disadvantage Roger. for the taller competitors. Once again, the leverage is a little bit easier for the shorter competitor. And it seems like it's playing itself out here with Magnus Samuelson having a very difficult time getting his hips into the lift. Well, Magnus did suffer a back injury last seconds. year. That might be part of it, but right now he is unable to get that car lifted. Meanwhile, Reagan Vagadell is on the clock. The time to beat 114.8, put up by Northern Ireland, Glenn Ross. And this is amazing. He simply cannot seconds. get the car elevated. And Magnus is going to walk away. He will have to settle for one point. Reagan Vagadell times out at 35.8. But the turn of events with Magnus Samuelson only picking up one point really changes the structure of this race for the championship. Well, his clock would have started once he got it elevated, regardless of when, uh, when Reagan had started. But it all came down to the fact that he just did not have the leverage to get his hips into the lift and pick the car up. A great brute strength performance by Northern Ireland's Glenn Ross. Iceland's Torfi Olofsson gets five huge points. With his disastrous sixth place finish, Magnus adds just one to his total. With a shocking turn of events in the deadlift hole, the door to the finals has been opened. Samuelson finds himself tied with Glenn Ross and Reagan Vagadell in a battle to claim the two spots for the final. The USA's Johnny Perry continues to struggle in his World's Strongest Man debut.